probably kicked off back around 2011 when council resolved to actually develop this facility. The whole concept was changing it from garbage trucks coming in over way bridges, dust, dirt, smells and rumbling off to the Tuncurry landfill to what you see now which is no trucks, pedestrian friendly, clean lines, clean pavement, very user friendly and, and a focus on I suppose the social side and, and particularly the recycling and reuse of materials. We dramatically changed the Community Recycling Centre concept that the EPA actually developed to being what you see today. It's an all-in-one drop-off facility right next to the green shop so we focus all cars to come in, stop, look, unload, they get to talk to the staff to see what's happening, what can be recycled, what can't, so it's an education program, but it's a one-stop shop basically before they head off to the Weybridge and then off to the waste transfer station. We engaged all the stakeholders and the contractors on site very early in the piece when we were developing the concept. Uh, we heard their needs as far as site operations go. Uh, they heard ours as how we wanted to change the whole focus and, and collectively and collaboratively we came up with this design. Traffic management was a big issue and we even engaged an architect to actually develop this facade and to actually overlook the traffic management and also where each of the facilities was so it was, would be more user friendly and actually an inviting place to be. Uh, the site developed um, with a men's shed and the revamped tip shop, if you like, which is called the Green Shop. It's the changing face of waste management. What was a dirty word many years ago is now actually something we would like the community to get on board with. The site actually will accept anything from small vehicles and because we've got the new community recycling centre and the range of other facilities here, we can actually divert much more than we could when we only had the landfill because the transfer station design also allows the pickers to remove anything that's actually recyclable or reusable. So I think at, at current rates we're actually diverting around 89% of the material that comes into the site which is well excess of what we ever thought we would achieve. It was quite interesting in terms of environmental challenges. We had one of the consultants discover that we had what's called the Tuncurry Midge Orchid on site. It's a critical plant, only grows in this area, so we couldn't do any work in around where that was located. Our whole delivery time frame had to shift. There were significant constraints that were put in place, so we had to totally change the layout of the whole site. I think in the end we've come up with a, a better operating site. It flows a lot better as a result, and it's nice being able to protect that Tuncurry Midge Orchid. We need to protect the environment, and we jumped on the front foot and actually did that work well in front of any contract arriving on site. It is a, very much a challenge being this close to the beach. We requested a, a double dose whereby we've got high quality steel that's been galvanised and then we've got a high paint protection system over top of that. So it's something that's not normally done but our expectation is that we have to do minimal maintenance on this facility going forward which is a positive outcome for the community. This project had a number of challenges and uh, one, one of the main challenges was uh, running, running a site, continuing to operate a, a landfill and um, waste management site while we're doing a major redevelopment. Um, we were able to uh, do that by breaking the project into a number of stages. Um, first of all, transferring a new waybridge into, into, onto site and um, getting that commissioned so that we could continue operations to the uh, MRF and uh, to the landfill. Then we had our major contractor, ATB Morton, mobilising to site. We were able to give them a pretty much a defined uh, area on site and uh, uh, they were about, able to go about doing all their civil works, constructing the community recycling centre, which you see behind me, and building the waste transfer station. Since the uh, changeover from landfill to the new transfer station design, um, we found that it's a far safer site, e much easier to use. Um, the site was specifically designed to keep the general public away from commercial vehicles um, and large vehicles. So we have multiple entries to the site. Um, heavy vehicles will go to the far entry and all our general public come through the first entry. So it really keeps all your heavy traffic away from your light traffic and uh, makes it a far safer site for for other uh, community users. It's a lot easier to take pride in something that looks so good. So when people come to work and they see that they have all this new infrastructure, um, they take pride in making sure that everything's 
kept to the highest standard possible. Um, you see, and it, and it makes their jobs a lot easier because you're working off concrete platforms, um, you've got purpose-built you know, bins, roadways, everything that they need to um, undertake their duties is there now. Uh, whereas before, with a landfill, it's an ever-moving site, so it's not. Um, but as for transfer stations, this is one of the best designs I've seen um, of any of the ones resource recovery operate. The increase in um, you know, safety barriers, line marking, um, you, know, you now have traffic lights at your way bridges, um, the increased signage, the, the site's laid out far better. Because the whole site was designed from the, the get-go to keep all your commercial operators away from general public and all those sorts of things, it's really made it a far safer site um, because all those things were thought about in the initial stages. Because of the way the transfer station's uh, been designed, everything's spilled onto concrete. So whereas before it's in dirt and mud and whatever, um, now it gets spilled onto concrete, everything can be diverted that, that's possible and it's all kept clean. Um, gets it put into its allocated bins or um, reuse um, items, get brought back over to the shop or to the men's shed. Um, the men's shed divert um, would have to be you know, close to 100 tonnes a year worth of timber, you'd think. Um, and, and it just makes the site far easier to use. The final amount of waste that cannot be sorted or recycled or reused is taken in bulk bins out to the Bucket's Way landfill and we've actually closed the Tunkurry landfill so all of our waste is going to one main site plus a couple of other smaller sites which we are reducing our environmental footprint by basically having all of the waste going together in the one site. The idea of the facade at Tunkurry was to showcase how some materials that are in their existing form can be reused in another form. So the actual wood on the site is from a Stroud bridge that was disposed of at one of our other landfill sites. We had the option of doing something that was a little bit different, a little bit outside the square, that people would actually go Oh, that's really nice and remember it. So at the front of the site we have multiple community groups using the site. We have the men's shed, we have the green bikes and the green which is also community gardens and then our contractor on site uh, resource recovery that operate both the site and the tip shop. So those three are four areas interact regularly and visitors that come to one spot generally tend to visit all of the different components while they're there. It offers uh, you know, butte opportunities to engage and educate community members and all users of the site. Uh, we have people coming here just to visit, like they come here as a, it is a destination in itself um, and they visit our site for all sorts of reasons. Um, they might be coming to use the CDS and then they find the tip shop. It's really a very holistic um, waste management um, service that, that we're providing here. And the design has a lot to do with that.